Contact. Swing that prop and Jean-Jacques and I are off for a ride to Tourangi. As we set off, the view over Taronga Harbour is just delightful. The blue sky reflecting in the water, the clouds looking fluffy and benign, and only a few bumps about. The Kaimai range is looking good, with enough space for us to squeeze between the clouds and the hilltops on our way to the mighty Waikato River. This is the town of Mangakino, home of one of the big dams that generates electricity for us. Although it would be a long drive, it's not a long flight until we get to Lake Taupo, which is today looking absolutely beautiful under the blue sky. The water still and calm, and in the distance, just a glimpse of the big, big mountains. Turangi, our destination, is on the flatlands at the southern end of the lake. The runway is on the quite marshy land that stretches out towards the lake from the town, and our pilot for today has chosen a somewhat interesting approach to the runway. There are 800 metres of runway here, and it looks like we're going to be glad of at least some of them. We do land safely and turn around and taxi back the length of the runway to find Bill is waiting for us by the clubhouse. He got here a little while ago, but has the bonnet open on his engine. The third aircraft in our group today belongs to Bob, who also has chosen to use the longer version of the landing approach. He taxis back, parks by the trees, and we're ready to leave the Ted Phillips airfield on our way to the River Winery restaurant. These trips aren't all about the food, but a good menu and good food when it arrives are much appreciated. So with lunch inside us and some honey bought from a local supplier, it's time to set off once more down the runway and take to the air on our way back home. The lake still looks absolutely beautiful, blue and calm. And now that all the clouds have gone from the sky, there aren't any bumps to disturb us on our way home. As you can see from the state of the windscreen, bugs thrive in this area too. They're plastered all over the front of the aircraft as well as the windscreen. It's not long before we've passed the mighty Waikato River and are back to Taronga Harbour. There's the Pacific Ocean, Mare Island out to sea, and we're setting up once more for an approach into Waihi Beach Airfield. Having selected the runway to use, we go out over the sea to lose height, then come back in over the land, turning back towards the sea once more, and then a final right turn to line up with the runway. It's calm here, and our pilot for the return journey has chosen the shorter version of the landing approach. Over the hedge, onto the runway, and we say to ourselves, we'll have to go to Turangi again soon. See you next time, everyone. Bye.